Danika is a 16-year school going girl. Recently, her parents have noticed that she has become very lazy. She is feeling tired throughout the day. She is feeling fatigued, worn out. In school, she is not interested in any kind of physical activity, not participating in sports. And to tell you, she was a very good sports student. She is not going out for playing during her lunchtime. She is bunking her uh, PT classes or physical training classes. Waking her up in the morning and getting her ready for the school is becoming the biggest headache for her, for her mother. Her teachers have started complaining that she is not being attentive in the class. She is not participating in any of the extracurricular activities for which she had received the best all-round student award three years back. Also, parents and teachers have uh, realized a behavioral change in her. She is now becoming very agitated, very angry on small matters. All these things have started just a couple of months back. Have you seen anyone around you suffering from similar issues? Is it your kids or your family members or your colleagues or some elderly or you? Do you want to know the reason behind these changes? If yes, keep watching this video. It might be helpful to you. Hello friends and welcome to your YouTube channel, My Expert Doctor. I am Dr. Shalini Singh Salunke, your consultant physician. The problem which I just discussed in the beginning of this video related to Kanika is actually not just Kanika's problem. You might be surprised to know that around 70% of the kids in this country are suffering from this problem. Not only kids, around 50% of the adults and 80% of the elderly are having similar issues. All these issues are because of only one vitamin deficiency and that is vitamin B12 deficiency. This vitamin B12 deficiency is such a huge issue worldwide that even WHO has decided to celebrate vitamin B12 deficiency awareness week which is actually from 19th of September to 25th of September. And hence, being a doctor, it's my responsibility that I should tell my viewers about the vitamin B12 deficiency symptoms, its cause, why is it so important for us to know about this thing, how can we know that we are having these issues and how can we actually control it. Towards the end of the video, I have a very interesting fact related to vitamin B12 deficiency. And this fact is also related to one of the movies by Amitabh Bachchan and Jaya Bhadri, or rather Jaya Bachchan actually. If you want to understand the correlation, keep watching this video till the end. Also, in the end, I am going to tell you about the food items which you can consume on a day-to-day basis and yet improve your vitamin B12 levels. So, stay tuned. Okay, so first let's see what is vitamin B12. So, it is one sort of vitamin B or one type of vitamin B which is water soluble. It is also known as cyanocobalamin. Cyano means blue. So, if you see it under fluorescent light, you will find it blue in color and it has a mineral called cobalt, hence the name cyanocobalamin. Now, what is the function of vitamin B12? So, I believe that before understanding the deficiency symptoms and a cure of vitamin B12, it's very important for you to understand why vitamin B12 is so important or crucial for us. So, vitamin B12 have certain very important essential functions in our body. So, if you'll ask me in one sentence, vitamin B12 is a key to healthy life. So, let's see what are the functions. So, number one, it help create and regulate the DNA. So, what is DNA? DNA is basically a genetic material which codes you. That is, for example, in software engineering, when you develop a program, how the program will function will depend on the codings of the program. Similarly, how you will behave, how you will have an external uh, appearance, how what diseases you will have, how healthy you will be, what you, everything will be decided by your genetic material, which is DNA. And vitamin B12 help to create this genetic material. So, indirectly, vitamin B12 is creating you. Now, I would emphasize it with another example. Uh, say, for example, a pregnant lady is deficient of vitamin B12. There are high chances that the fetus or the baby developing inside the pregnant lady will also be deficient of vitamin B12 and hence will have a poor growth and the baby might have or develop with congenital abnormalities. So, vitamin B12 is crucial for your life. Another function of vitamin B12 is it helps to develop your ability to think or your cognitive functions. Number three, it helps in production of RBC or red blood cells and hereby prevent anemia. Number four, it helps in production of energy inside your body. So energy is basically 
ATP which is adenosine triphosphate. So adenosine triphosphate is formed in your body through vitamin B12. If vitamin B12 is deficient, your body will be deficient of energy and hence you will feel weak. Fifth is, it helps in protection of your eyes from macular degeneration which, which can lead to uh, vision loss. Now let's understand why its deficiency is so common. So you must be surprised to know that although it's so crucial for our body, our body lacks the ability to form vitamin B12. Yes, we have no machinery to produce vitamin B12. Hence, we have to be dependent on the outside sources that is food from food or from supplements. So now let's understand what are the basic reasons of vitamin B12 deficiencies in our body. Number one is aging. As you age, your ability to absorb vitamin B12 from food sources reduces drastically and hence you become deficient. Number two is atrophic gastritis or pernicious anemia. These are, these are the conditions where the intestinal, the internal linings of your stomach are damaged. Hence, you cannot get vitamin B12. The third is diseases affecting the small intestine like celiac disease, Crohn's disease, parasites, etc. Or the intestinal surgeries or if you have done any weight loss surgeries. So, these surgeries reduces your size of intestine further devil in, uh, causing deficiency of vitamin B12. Fourth is alcohol abuse or misuse. If you are a heavy alcoholic, it means that your liver is damaged to a bit. Hence, your liver, uh, the capacity of your liver to store, vi store vitamin B12 has reduced. Hence, alcoholics have poor vitamin B12 levels in the body. Fifth is Im certain immune system disorder like autoimmune conditions like uh, type 1 diabetes, uh, Graves disease and many other are associated with the vitamin B12 deficiencies. Sixth is certain medications. If you are continuously on PPI or proton pump inhibitors or any kind of antacids for that matter, also on metformin which is a medicine for diabetes and there are certain other medicines as well which can cause vitamin B12 depletion in your system. Seventh is vegan, vegan diet. My friends, if you are vegan, you are basically depleting your system from vitamin B12 deficiencies and you have to be dependent on supplements. Eighth is HIV. It's a condition, it's a disease which, which can lead to vitamin B12 deficiency. So next move on to what are the symptoms of B12 deficiency. So to my patients, I usually explain this by dividing the symptoms into two categories. The one is common symptoms and these are basically uh, symptoms which are not life threatening, which just affect your life, day to day life. The second category is actually dangerous symptoms which are life threatening or some of the uh, some of these uh, symptoms are basically permanent. Even if you cure the vitamin B12 deficiencies, these symptoms might remain. So let's move on to that. So let's first of all see the common symptoms. Uh, you might have lack of energy, you might feel weak, tired, worn out, light headed throughout the day. You won't feel like doing anything. You might also feel palpitation or faster heart rate. You might feel breathless on doing simple exertions. Your skin might look pale and uh, scratchy. Uh, your tongue might look smooth. You might have oral ulcers, swollen tongue. Many, many a times people usually present with oral ulcers, frequent oral ulcers, which are the initial presenting symptoms of vitamin B12 deficiency. So it's quite common. Another thing is your dark or hyperpigmented knuckles. If your knuckles look darker compared to the remaining of the skin, take it as an indication that your vitamin B12 le uh, levels are low. Also, you might have problems of related to stomach or digestion that is constipation, diarrhea, loss of appetite, bloating, nausea. Ladies, please pay attention. You might have hair fall or uh, the glow of your hair is all gone. You might feel that your hair is looking more frizzy. The overall quality of your hair has become poorer. Also, you might have my pain in your muscles and fatigue. So these are symptoms which usually happens in the initial phases of vitamin B12 deficiency. Now let's move on to some dangerous symptoms of B12 deficiency, which could also be permanent. The first and foremost is nerve problem. As I have told you that vitamin B12 is essential for development of your nerves and brain. So, some of the patients of B12 might complain of pins and needle sensation all over the body or sometimes muscle fasciculations. So, these pins and needle sensations are most prominently seen towards the fingertips, towards the toes and maybe all over the body as well sometimes. You might also have a problem with balancing and coordination. Your incidences of falling increases. 
then you might have vision loss you might have mental issues as well patients with b12 deficiency commonly presents with depression and anxiety many attempts we take it as psychiatric problem but when we do blood levels and everything we come to know that this is it is related to b12 deficiencies also people with severe vitamin b12 deficiency can have severe anemia and cognitive decline that is poor memory now there is one thing which has recently come up with the researchers that vitamin b12 also help in keeping homocysteine levels under check so vitamin b12 basically indirectly keeps heart attack and stroke under check so now as i have promised in the beginning of this video i am going to tell you or reveal the secret that why and how vitamin b12 deficiency is correlated with amitabh bachchan and jaya bachchan's movie mili so this movie was released in 1970s where jaya bachchan in this movie Uh, had this uh, disease called perinaceous anemia so perinaceous actually meant life threatening or deadly because at that time perinaceous anemia was a deadly disease actually it happens due to cassel's intrinsic factor deficiency which doesn't allow the absorption of vitamin b12 so indirectly it is because of vitamin b12 deficiency so see Vitamin B12 deficiency related perinaceous anemia was a life threatening situation or deadly situation in 1970s which now can easily be cured with just few shots of vitamin B12 injections so science has improved a lot since that time and hence you must trust science so if you have not watched this movie till date please go and watch it today for just fun facts now the most crucial question how can we improve the levels of vitamin b12 in our body so there are two ways i have told you initially one is through food the other is to supplements so first of all let's focus on food so firstly i am going to tell my vegetarian friends what they can consume for their b12 develop b12 improvement so first of all dairy products please remember that if you even if you take 250 ml of cow milk every day that can fulfill half of the daily requirement of vitamin b12 now apart from that you can also have curd uh, cheese paneer and other dairy products similar dairy products then you can have uh, fruits like apple banana orange blueberries dry fruits like almonds you can also have fortified food products like cereals and grains there are certain uh, food products available in the market which are basically fortified with vitamin b12 just look at the ingredient and you can also consume that now my egetarian friends you can consume egg for your daily requirement of rda around 2 to 3 eggs is sufficient now coming to my vegan friends you have your fruits and fortified food products you can consume them the list of fruits i just told you now to my non vegetarian friends you have lot of options available you can either take dairy products or you can take fruits or you can take eggs or you can also consume fish oysters uh, poultry products and meat but remember if you are taking poultry products and meat try consuming the liver part of it because that has the maximum concentration of vitamin b12 now coming to the supplement part for supplements there are two possibilities either you take oral or you take injection so many of the people have this question that can we take injections compared to orals for better for better improvement of vitamin b12 levels so my friends the answer is you can consume either the researchers have explained it clearly that either you take oral supplements or you take injectable supplements they both have equal efficacy of improving your vitamin b12 levels the only thing is if you have problems like perinaceous anemia atrophic gastritis or your intestines are removed due to surgeries or you have gastric bypass surgery in that scenario that means you have your stomach or intestine related problems because of which you are deficient of vitamin b12 in this scenario only you should go for vitamin b12 injections because orally you won't be able to absorb it well the problem is with the absorption so now i believe that you have understood if you feel that you have any of the symptoms of vitamin b12 deficiency you will go to the doctor get your levels checked and will start improving it by taking supplements or through food or fortified foods it's up to you so if you like today's video please like it share it with your friends and family members because as i have mentioned that many people around you might be uh, suffering from vitamin b12 deficiency so this video might come handy to them also subscribe this channel if you want to know more and more health related informations because 
health is the key to success health is a key to happy future so with similar informational video we will see each other again till then bye